Speckled Alder, Alnus rugosa. The leaves are usually 5 to 10 centimeters long and 2 to 4 centimeters wide, being broadest near the base. It has a wavy margin with serrations of two sizes, a leathery texture, and prominent lateral veins. The buds are stalked and spoon-shaped. There are two bud scales. European Ash, Fraxinus excelsior. The leaf has 7 to 11 leaflets which are sessile, dark green above and lighter green below. The twig is a light straw color and the buds are almost black. Green Ash, Fraxinus pensylvanica. The leaves are 20 to 30 centimeters long and is odd pinnately compound. It has seven to nine leaflets which are lance shaped to oval. The margin is entirely to weakly tooth. It is semi-stocked with a hairy ratchet and leaf underservice. The twigs are also hairy. The mountain ashes, or sorbus. The leaves are 12 to 25 centimeters long with 9 to 17 leaflets. The apex of the leaflets are sharply pointed and the margin is finely serrate. European beech, Fagus sylvatica. The leaf has a wavy margin with rounded teeth. It also has prominent straight veins. The buds are lance-shaped. Bittersweet, Celestris scandens. The bittersweet has alternate simple leaves which are oval to obovate in shape and singly serrate. The twig has no tendrils for support and is brown in color. Black Raspberry, Rubus occidentalis. The leaf has three to seven leaflets and is pinnately compound. The twigs are dark purple in color with strong hooked thorns. Ohio Buckeye, Ascalus glabra. The leaf is palmately compound with five lanceolate leaflets. The twig has a foul odor when broken and the buds do not appear gummy, uh, which is important to remember so you don't confuse this with the horse chestnut. European Buckthorn, Ramnus cathartica. The leaf can get up to roughly 8 centimeters long and 4 centimeters wide. They are elliptic to ovate with a sharp point tip and 3 to 5 pairs of curved lateral veins. The buds are sharp pointed and black in a sub-opposite arrangement. Buffalo berry, Shepardia canadensis. It's an opposite arrangement. Uh, the leaves have elliptical shape and its underside is whitish with brown dots. The twig is covered with brown scales. Northern Catalpa, Catalpa speciosa. The leaf is 10 to 30 centimeters long and 8 to 18 centimeters wide. The apex is long and pointed. It has a smooth margin, sometimes with one to three irregular teeth. Choke cherry, Prunus virginiana. The leaf is five to ten centimeters long and two to five centimeters wide and is obovate in shape. The margin is fine and singly serrate with an abrupt apex. It has glands on the petiole. The buds are three to four millimeters long and scales with a light leading edge. Pin cherry, Prunus pensylvanica. The leaf is 8 to 15 centimeters long and 2 to 3 centimeters wide, being lanceolate in shape. The margin is erose with glands present. The buds are 1 to 2 millimeters long with clustered terminal buds. The twigs are light brown with a partial waxy cuticle. The bark is smooth at all ages with powdery orange lenticels. Horse chestnut, Ascalus hippocastinum. The leaves are 10 to 25 centimeters long and palmately compound with seven to nine leaflets. The leaflets are broadest above the middle and the margin is doubly serrate. The twig has no odor when broken and the buds are shiny, brown, and gummy. 
chestnut, Castanea dentata. The leaf is 15 to 28 centimeters long and 4 to 8 centimeters wide. It has sharp pointed teeth on the margin. Kentucky coffee tree, Gymnocladus diosus. The leaf is 30 to 90 centimeters long and 45 to 60 centimeters wide. It is doubly compound with the leaflets being broadest near the base. The margin is smooth. Eastern cottonwood, Populus deltoids. It is a simple leaf, triangular in shape and glandular teeth. It has two glands at the base of the blade. The buds are two centimeters long and blonde in color. The twig is blonde and angular. High bush cranberry, Viburnum trilobum. The leaf is five to 10 centimeters long and sharply trilobed. The margin is entire or serrate. There are glands present on the petiole and it has a grooved rachis. The buds are press, rounded, and variable in color. Currants and gooseberries, ribes. The leaves resemble small maple leaves and some species have hairy petioles. The buds are small and the twigs are often armed with sharp thorns. Alternate leaf dogwood, Cornus alternifolia. The leaf is seven to 12 centimeters long and five to eight centimeters wide. It is broadest at the base with a smooth margin. It has arcuate venation and the base is rounded to wedge shaped. The buds are sharp pointed and the bud scales are chestnut brown. Red Ossier Dogwood, Cornus Saracia. The leaf is five to 15 centimeters long and three to nine centimeters wide. It has a lanceolate ovate to oval shape and soft hair on the underside. The buds have two bud scales and the terminal bud is usually swollen. The twig is bright red in color. Round leaf dogwood, Cornus rugosa. The leaf is seven to 15 centimeters long and five to 12 centimeters wide, being broadly oval to round. It has a sharp apex and a woolly underside. The buds have two bud scales and the terminal bud is usually swollen. The twig is yellowish green streaked with purple. Black elderberry, Sambucus canadensis. The leaf has five to 11 leaflets, usually seven. They are hairy on the underside, sharply serrate, and have a grooved rachis. The buds are opposite arrangement, small and rounded. The twig has lenticels present and a white pith. Red elderberry, Sambucus pubens. The leaf has five to seven leaflets that are smooth or downy on the underside. The leaflets have an asymmetrical base and a grooved rachis. The buds are an opposite arrangement and are large and purplish. The twigs have rusty lenticels present with an orange pith. Slippery or red elm, Ulmus rubra. The leaves are eight to 16 centimeters long and five to eight centimeters wide. The margin is coarse and doubly serrate. It has numerous forked veins and both leaf surfaces are hairy. The buds are five to seven millimeters long and are dark brown to black and covered with hair. Scotch elm, Ulmus glabra. The leaf is eight to 16 centimeters long and is coarsely doubly serrate. There are often two prominent horn-like projections on upper one-third of leaf. Siberian elm, Ulmus pumila. The leaves are two to seven centimeters long with a single row of teeth on the margin. The buds look like balls. Ginkgo, or Ginkgo biloba. The leaves are fan-like, usually two distinct lobes, as classified as a gymnosperm. Hackberry, Celtis occidentalis. The leaf is six to nine centimeters long and two to four centimeters wide. The margin is sharply serrate above the middle often entire below, the base is asymmetrical. The petiole divides into three distinct main veins at the leaf base. Hawthorns, or Cretaceous. The leaves are variable in shape. There are 25 to 30 species in Canada. 
The buds are often dome-shaped, reddish in color with prominent thorns. Beaked Hazel, Corylus cornuta. The leaves are 5 to 12 centimeters long and 3 to 7 centimeters wide. They are broadly oval with a wavy margin outline. The base is chordate and it has approximately six pairs of lateral veins. The buds are two-toned with two pairs of bud scales. The inner pair is hairy. Witch Hazel, Hamamelis virginiana. The leaf is 6 to 15 centimeters long and irregular shapes. The base is asymmetrical and the margin is coarsely toothed to irregularly wavy. Hobblebush, Viburnum alnifolium. The leaf is 10 to 20 centimeters long and 7 to 18 centimeters wide. It is broadly oval to almost round with a wrinkled appearance. The margin is finely singly serrate and the petiole is hairy. The buds have embryonic leaves present. Leatherwood, Durca palestris. It is an alternate arrangement. The leaves have an obovate shape and the margin is entire. The twig is swollen near the terminal bud. Small leafed lime, Tilia cordata. The leaf is similar to the basswood but smaller in size. The bud is also similar to the basswood. Black locust, Robinia pseudoacacia. The leaf is 20 to 35 centimeters long, singly compound with 7 to 19 leaflets. The leaflets are stalked and the margin is entire. The terminal leaflet is often notched. The lateral buds are tiny and buried in the leaf scar and the terminal bud is lacking. Honey locust, Gledatesia tricanthos. The leaf is 15 to 20 centimeters long and a singly or doubly compound. There are 7 to 15 pairs of opposing leaflets. It is lacking both the terminal leaflet and the terminal bud. The lateral buds are small and the twigs are armed with numerous three-branched spines. Amir maple, Acer ginola. The leaf is three-lobed, narrow, and has numerous serrations on the margin. Black maple, Acer nigrum. The leaf is 12 to 15 centimeters long and has three to five lobes. The underside is hairy and it has a droopy appearance. Japanese maple, Acer palmatum. The leaf has five to nine deeply cleft lobes. The lobes are toothed. Manitoba maple, Acer nagundo. Has a compound leaf with three to seven leaflets that are lobed near the base. The buds are 3 to 8 millimeters long, have two bud scales, and are covered with a white bloom. The twigs are thick and covered with a whitish powder. Mountain Maple, Acer spicatum. The leaf is 8 to 12 centimeters in length and width with three lobes. It has a glandular margin. The base makes an M shape. The buds are 6 to 8 millimeters long and have two bud scales that are covered with a fine gray hair at the ends. Striped Maple, Acer pensylvanicum. The leaf is about 16 centimeters long and 8 to 10 centimeters wide. It has three lobes and has numerous fine teeth along the margin and a rounded base. The buds have two bud scales, are bright red in color, and are short stalked. The twig is slender with long, thin, white stripes. Red Mulberry, Morris rubra. The leaf is 7 to 10 centimeters long and 5 to 6 centimeters wide with 1 to 3 lobes and a chordate base. Nannyberry, Viburnum lentigo. The leaf is 5 to 10 centimeters long and 2 to 7 centimeters wide with an ovate shape and sharp apex. It is sharply serrate to entire with a winged petiole. The terminal bud is 2 to 3 centimeters long and there are swollen flower buds present. Black Oak, Quercus velutina. The leaf is 10 to 20 centimeters long and 8 to 12 centimeters wide. It has 5 to 7 large deep lobes. 
It is bristle tipped and has hair along the veins and on the underside. It is variable in shape. Canada Plum, Prunus nigra. The leaf is 6 to 12 centimeters long and 2 to 7 centimeters wide. It is broadly oval, being broadest above the middle. The margin is crenate, the teeth are gland tipped. The apex is long and tapering, and it has glands on the petiole. The buds are 4 to 8 millimeters long, and there are woody thorns present with buds on the thorn end. Poison Ivy, Toxicodendron radicans. It is a trifoliate compound leaf with lobed leaflets and a long petiole. Carolina Poplar, Populus canadensis. This is a hybrid of Populus deltoids crossed with Populus nigra. The leaf is similar to eastern cottonwood but has no glands on the petiole. Lombardi Poplar, Populus nigra has a simple leaf with a triangular shape. The base is broad and wedge-shaped, which tapers to a sharp tip. White Poplar, Populus alba. It is a simple leaf, which is distinctly three to five lobed. The underside is white and covered with a woolly hair. Purple Flowering Raspberry, Rubrus odoratus. The leaf has three to five sharp pointed lobes, is hairy with serrate margins. The twig is light brown and often has bristles. The lower bark shreds. Wild Red Raspberry, Rubus edasis. The leaf is pinnately compound with three to seven leaflets and a white underside. The twigs are straw colored and bristled. Sassafras. Sassafras albidum. The leaf is 10 to 15 centimeters long and 5 to 10 centimeters wide. It has three different shapes, elliptical, mitten, and trilobed. Service berries, Amelanchier. The leaves are 5 to 8 centimeters long. The margin is single serrate. It has a chordate base and no glands. The buds are 10 to 12 millimeters long, oppressed, sharp pointed and reddish brown in color. It has progressively larger bud scales. Staghorn sumac, Ruis typhina, has a pinnately compound leaf that is 40 to 60 centimeters long with 11 to 31 leaflets. The margin is coarsely serrate and the rachis is densely hairy. The buds are five to seven millimeters long and cone shaped. The twigs are densely hairy. Sycamore, Platanus occidentalis, the leaf is 10 to 20 centimeters long and just as broad, with 3 to 5 lobes. The petiole is stout and often flared. Tree of Heaven, Aelanthus altissima. The leaf has 13 to 25 leaflets. There are glands at the tip of the teeth near the leaflet base. Tulip Tree, Liriodendron tulipifera. The leaf is 7 to 12 centimeters long with 4 to 6 lobes. It is saddle shaped or it might remind you of a cat's head. The apex often appears cut off and the margin is entire. Maple leafed viburnum, viburnum acerfolium. The leaf is trilobed and 6 to 12 centimeters long. It has step-like serrations and no glands on the petiole. The buds are dark and the terminal bud is diamond shaped. Wild Grapes, Vitus. The leaf is simple and lobed. The twig is supported by large tendrils and it is light brown in color. Weeping Willow, Salix babylonica. The leaf is lanceolate and has no glands. It is light green on the upper surface and gray green on the lower surface. Common Juniper, Juniperus communis. The leaves, or needles, are sharp pointed and are in whorls of three. They have a distinct white band on the upper surface. It is a multi-stemmed shrub. Canada U, Taxus canadensis. The leaves are one to three centimeters long and one to three millimeters wide. They are dark green in color, the apex narrowing to a sharp tip. The leaves form a spiral around the stem. They are flat and flexible. Blue spruce, 
Pekia pungens has thick needles that have a powdery blue look to them. Norway spruce, Pekia abies. The needles are one to two and a half centimeters long and curved. The twigs are hairless and straw colored. The cones are 10 to 18 centimeters long with wedge shaped scales. Austrian pine, Pinus nigra. The needles are in clusters of two. They look very much like red pine, but the Austrian pine's needles are much sharper and stiffer and are a darker color of green. The buds are white. Mugo pine, Pinus mugo. The needles are in clusters of two and are usually under five centimeters long. It looks similar to the Scots pine, but the mugo pine has denser clusters of needles on the twigs. They are usually multi-stemmed with a maximum height of four meters. European larch, Larix decidua. It's very similar to the tamarack. It has needles in clusters or whorls of about 30 to 40 needles per whorl. The cones are 5 to 8 centimeters long. The scales are numerous with bracts showing. Pitch pine, Pinus rigida. The needles are in clusters of three. They're 7 to 16 centimeters long and often in tufts on the main stem.